so it's a, a, another tough challenge for us this weekend with Notts County at home. Obviously, a, a nice chance to get back at the end, but obviously, what against a team that's top of the league? Yeah, of course. Like so, uh, I guess they don't come much tougher than than playing fourth, fourth, and then first. Um, so, like, it is a real challenge. But like, uh, we've rose the challenge that like, against Southend and 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 whatnot. And obviously, we want to get the disappointment of the previous fixture, um, or the the both fixtures over Christmas period. Uh, out of way quick, so like there's a there's a lot to to play for, and we need to bounce back fast, and 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 we need to get at them, and and like like teams have shown when they travel, like they they can they can get a result. So like we're we're, we're very very not 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 so much, we're very very well prepared and 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 ready to go against them. Really, obviously we we played Wrexham away under your reign, um, and you know it was a tough challenge. We we didn't get the points in that game, but. I think we did show, and we spoke about it, we did show in, in parts against that game that we can compete against the best teams in division, can't we? Yeah, I think this team can compete against against all teams, uh, but but they have moments where they switch off and moments where they make silly mistakes, which we talked about, and, and like, um, uh, like in the last two games being competitive isn't enough and we weren't competitive in moments, which is the disappointing thing, but like they can be, they can be competitive and we need to be really, really competitive against these. We need to be at our best. Um, otherwise, we'll, we'll we'll get caught out. So, like, we we'll do as much preparation as we can, and, and we'll be as ready to go against knots. And like, like I said to the, I said to the group, we we still won three and five, um, like three clean sheets in that five. And and of course, the the, the bit in the, the the sour taste of of getting beat off your local rivals is is awful. Um, but we want to bounce back, and and like you said, you don't, a team doesn't win three in a row and not concede a goal, and. And then suddenly lose two and become a really bad side. So like like a lot of teams lose their rivals and as Walken had known in the past, and a lot of teams beat their rivals or and bounce back or get beat off the rivals and bounce back. So so we're we're ready to go and we're keen to go as quick as we can and we want we want to get a positive performance. Obviously this fixture starts a bit of a tough run with, you know, some a lot of Tuesday, Saturday games in a row. So is it does that come into your thinking at all? Do you move the squad around? Yeah. Or, or what what kind of goes through your mind when you've got a run like that? Uh well we're not the biggest squad. I think the fixtures schedule is, is not great. I think it's very poor actually. Like I don't think it sets us up. Like we like our our infrastructure and how we are off the pitch, like like we need more bodies and and, and like you compare ourselves to to where we are on and off the pitch to like a, t- a side like walking and not like like we're like years behind both those in terms of like finances and and resources and uh, we're going into nine games in what is it like twenty three twenty four days and and that's not that's that's hard that's hard that's hard for Notts County and that's hard for Rex and it'll be a real real tough tough for us and the scheduling I don't think is is. Is right and and we've got to be really managing. We've got to be really careful and like it's like we like everyone knows. No one's daft. Like we're not we're not blessed with the most most players and, and we're gonna to have to manage it really well. We've already seen one new addition to the squad though in, in Jake Hutchinson. Can you tell us a bit more about his arrival? Uh, Jake's a goal scorer. Like he's young and and he is twenty and 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 sounds probably not what people want to hear. But when he's twenty three, twenty four, he's going to be a league player and he's going to be a league goal scorer. But we got him at twenty years old and. He's been on loan every every season since sort of 16, 17, and he's scored goals wherever he's gone. And he's trained well this week. He's a good size, and he he runs in behind well. And he, like I said, he he'll bring a different aspect to the group. But he's someone who's got a real good pedigree in the league below, fourteen goals in like twenty three games, which is excellent. So we're hoping he can he can bring a bit of value and take a bit of pressure off other players. And obviously with Tommy coming back, which is a which is a real real positive as well. Obviously, uh, you speak about getting experience in, at lower levels, and we've seen a few of our players leave on loan as well. Ben Schroll to Haven, Francis and Marty is obviously to Slough, and then Keane and Maxwell have had their loans extended at Leverad. So again, talk to uh, talk to us about that. Yeah, obviously Ben needs to play, and Ben's not playing. Like I've known Ben, Ben since he was in the academy, and I, I really, I, I mean, I love Ben. I think he's great to have here, but Ben's got to play. Um, we've obviously got Corey and we got Tyler and we got Giles, so so it's not fair on him to just sit around and watch and and he's got to go and play and develop and he'll be missed and and but it's the best thing for him and it's similar reason for Francis really like like it's it's I know I know that I know fans are crying out for him to play and Francis is a good boy I get on well with Francis and um, I want to go and see him do well I want to go and see him score some goals at Slough he, he didn't quite he, he he's had two loans at one at Hampton and one at um, Farnborough and. Uh, he's not scored scored a ton of goals, and that's not that's not me being nasty or anything. And I want him to go and do well, and I think he's got a good manager in Scott, and who's known him as well from his previous time at Slough. So I think that'll be good for him, and 
he, he if he goes and gets some goals, that's fantastic for for him, and it's fantastic for us. And like he's still our player, so like I said we want to go and see him do well and, and get amongst the goals. And obviously with Keenan Maxwell are doing been doing really well all season. Like I think I think they, they've had a new manager come in and they've gone up the league at Leverhead. So again, I think that I think Maxwell scored on the weekend and Keno got an assist. So it's good to see them doing well as well. <laughs> Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.